friends. Welcome to Bountifully Blessed. My name is Becky and I'm going to show you my garden space that I started doing here in my apartment complex. So come join me. This little space I've been gardening now for the last three years. I actually started gardening back in 2020 on a whim. I had a lot of fun with some ladies um, in my com in my apartment complex actually and um, we just had a blast doing it and my apologies <laughs> you never know what quite to expect in this area <laughs> I'm close to an airport and it looks like we have some helicopters going over so my apologies there but I started gardening back in 2020 out of some, uh, well, pure enjoyment at the moment. I was not working and I decided that it would be a lot of fun. So I ended up coming out and realizing that my apartment complex actually had some fun little garden boxes and took advantage of that. So I ended up coming in one day with <laughs> um, tons and tons of spearmint. I walked in like a little farmer, carrying spearmint along my side, walking around with it, and I was determined to do something with it. And it was covered in dirt, and I brought it into our apartment complex, and my husband looked at me, and he's like, what on earth are you doing? And I said, I'm going to start a garden. <laughs> he goes, okay then. So that was kind of the beginning journey of my gardening excitement. Um, since then... Um, last year we didn't have our garden boxes available at our apartment complex and um, I ended up doing some gardening at my grandma's last year and that was really fun but this year I finally got my garden boxes back and um, I have enjoyed um, starting my seeds actually indoors so I have a little greenhouse that I will get to show you as we continue on this journey together but I have a small greenhouse and I invested in a really good grow light and I ended up totally just falling in love with starting seeds and getting to just kind of have fun and doing my own thing. So that's what we're here to do. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of my garden that um, I've got going. So I have this wonderful space here. I've got my peppers and I've got some different kinds of tomatoes. So I have got, um, quite a few different varieties. So I've got two of these wonderful San Marzano tomatoes. I'm looking forward to those. This one, as you can see, needs some extra help getting supported. I need to get some good support for it, but I wasn't expecting it to need it so soon. <laughs> um, this beautiful one here is a pineapple heirloom. I'm very excited for this one. As you can imagine, look at how beautiful. My first good little blooms coming in and plant is looking fabulous and healthy. And right here is one of the ones I've started. These guys got a little bit um, of a slower start this year. Um, these are Jubilee tomatoes. This one is obviously doing wonderful, but this one seems to have been stunted. It is growing, but it is definitely struggling and that is totally my fault. So I'm going to give it its best shot because you just can't expect anything from nothing and even though it's struggling it's still showing life and growth it's just been a little bit slower so we'll let that one continue on its sad little journey <laughs> this beauty right here is a chocolate cherry tomato I've usually only done different kinds of varieties of cherry tomatoes and that one was purely just for fun the San Marzano's Jubilees um, or the San Marzano tomatoes and the Jubilee tomatoes are what I'm hoping will be some good salsas and sauces and all of the good things that you can imagine. My husband um, found out how amazing San Marzano tomatoes are for making amazing sauces. So that is the goal with those. And over here on my they're looking a little rough. This one I did not grow, but um, it sounded really interesting. This little guy here is called Satan's Kiss. Um, I was more 
intrigued by the fact that these tomatoes, once they fully bloom or ripen, they will turn red and they will look like a cherry tomato. So I'm very interested to see that. I got those for my husband. He loves spicy things. This poor fellow was doing a lot better when I put him in, but I think I've got some kind of animal that is enjoying eating things. Um, this one looked amazing when I put him in and he has been obviously destroyed. I had lots of new growth and more blossoms and this is just what's happened. So I have no idea what kind of pests I might have out here, but I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on that. Um, same problem I have here. Someone is taking bites out of my leaves. So I've got two jalapenos here, this one and that one. That one is looking a little bit rough for wear as well, but lots of new growth coming. So there's a lot of good benefit there. And then these three over here are a hot salsa blend. Those ones will all be surprises. So I'm very excited for those. As you can see, this guy is doing beautifully. These leaves. He's got new growth. This guy, he is looking a little rough for wear as well. Looks like I've got some kind of animals coming and taking bites out of my peppers. So he's got some new growth coming. So hopefully I'll be able to catch whatever critter is chewing up my pepper leaves. <laughs> and apparently my pepper blossoms as well, which is a total bummer. So hopefully that doesn't affect my yield guess we'll find out how that goes. Um, I'm really excited. I had planted some cucumbers in the center here of my little garden bed and nothing is growing in the area that I planted it. We had a really decent rain back sometime last week when I planted them because I wanted to direct sow those and I am seeing all kinds of cute little pop throughout my garden bed like this. And I am not sure if these are weeds or if those are my cucumbers that are supposed to be coming because I planted them all in here. And so far there is one little area way up there that is in the area that I planted it in. And I planted nine in this area. So I actually have no idea what to expect. I've got lots of these little guys. So I'm waiting until their true leaves come out and I will see if they are cucumber leaves or not to know if I need to re-sow those. But um, I've got a lot of fun things ahead. This may be a small space. Um, usually there's other gardeners that are out here. Um, in the past, I've had some of my neighborhood friends that um, we've gardened together, but this year I'm on my own and it makes it a little difficult. I've got this wonderful area um, that I could use all of these garden boxes for, but I honestly just don't have the ability to be able to go through and clean out every single one of these garden boxes. They are full of very old soil and they are just layered and layered in all kinds of weeds and it's a lot of work to be able to clean all of those out. So I've got my one and we're gonna actually have some fun with some garden bags that I got. And we're gonna have an adventure with those and see how all well those hold up and uh, plant some other things in there, direct sowing them. I think we're gonna start a, probably an herb garden is what I'm thinking. Um, I have some herbs that I grow in my apartment complex, um, in my actual apartment, but I would like to be able to grow some outside and um, have an actual designated area for that. So I'm really excited for that. So anyways, that is just kind of a little mini garden tour. I'm excited to see all the progress that um, this little garden makes and showing you all of the cool things that you can do. Just because you don't have a large amount of space does not mean that you are limited in what you can do. I started gardening just for the sake of it. It sounded fun at the moment and I have fallen in love with it ever since. And I've got the mentality that if I can do all of this amazing stuff in such a small space, starting my own seeds indoors in a little mini greenhouse in my living room with a decent grow light that when my husband and I finally get a house that we are 
going to just take off. It's going to be amazing to see everything that we can really accomplish. So I'm excited to share this journey with you. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have an awesome day.